had a conversation today with a, a friend of mine who's a, a lobbyist, both uh, on a federal and uh, statewide basis for the used car industry. And it was a very interesting discussion. We talked about uh, buy here, pay here dealers, which I am not one of them, but uh, I compete with them. And they're there are several who are good friends of mine. And it was interesting to, to hear about a side of the business that I hadn't really thought about. Um, because you kind of think about how business is affecting you, right? But it's important to know what's happening elsewhere, including what's happening with your, your competition. Um, my friend said he deals with a lot of these guys and, uh, and the numbers that, that, that they're looking at, at least in, in our region of the country, um, is they're spending between $7,000 and $8,500 to get a decent vehicle that they can put through their system. Um, this is up from where it used to be. Uh, then they're spending about another $1,500, bucks, 13 to $1,700, around about $1,500 to get that vehicle road ready so that they can put it into their system and sell it and, and uh, you know, finance it. Um, one thing that hasn't changed very much, so those things are both up a little bit. Uh, and that's something I know I've seen too, that the uh, repair costs are up for my vehicles as well. But, but, uh, uh, but the, the thing they're seeing is the down payment is still a uh, thousand to fifteen hundred bucks is what they're trying to collect, and it's usually closer to the thousand bucks. Um, that's all they can get. So, so now you've got a uh, about eighty five hundred to ten thousand uh, dollars invested, and if you're just a small dealer, you're you're doing five or ten uh, cars a month. That's that's at least fifty thousand dollars that you've invested. Uh, that's out on the street. Uh, and and you know somewhat somewhere in the neighborhood of ten percent that's been collected uh, up front, and then your you know the rest is is promised your your hope. Um, it's always scared me, you know the, the the financing side. I don't like financing. I don't like car payments, so it's it's never gone my way. But I I've always looked at that business and thought, boy, those guys are raking in a ton of money, and 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 a lot of them have, but the risk is there for default, you know, due to uh, non-payers, due to mechanical issues, due, due to uh, uninsured motorists. I mean, yeah, they've got insurance when they leave your lot, but do they keep the insurance when they have the accident? Um, and after 12 months, after just 12 months, that adds up to, you know, well over a half million dollars on the street, um, even for a, a small buy here, pay here operation and and you can get a lot larger than that a lot faster and there's probably some that are still under that but but think about that it's a lot of money out there a lot of risk out there and and then on, on the other side so 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 these guys these these uh buy here pay here guys are are feeling a the squeeze they're really feeling a the squeeze because it's taken a lot of capital to be in that game and on the other side of that, you've got their customers, their customers, the buy here, pay here customers who who are coming to them because they don't have a lot of down payment money. They're coming to them because they don't have good credit, probably. Um, they're coming to them because they have to have a car and they have to have a reliable vehicle that they can get to the job they have to have to pay the payment. Um, and, and those folks are being squeezed. They're feeling the squeeze of, you know, grocery prices, housing prices. My, I, I've, I'm seen, I, as some of you know, that I've, I've been involved in, in, in real estate building and, and development. I've seen the cost of, of a, a home, the building a home go up close to 300% over the past, I don't know, less than a decade. It's, it's, it's a shocking um, and and if it's if it's cost more to build the house, those guys also in that market have to also collect money 
so housing housing prices whether it be rent or own are up fuel prices obviously are are high they they were, were they're probably not as high as they could be uh if it, if it weren't for some other other situations right now but they that could go up too and and then we've got interest rates on the rise and and uh uh my friend talked about a, a, a possible uh airline strike and increases in the uh in the the wages for for airfare that's going to increase the cost of shipping of travel it all comes back it all comes back to the to the consumer uh and us we're, we're all consumers um so all these things are 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 squeezing the very people that they've got to these buy here pay here folks have got to collect their money for um and and this <laughs> this conversation that we were having uh led him to talk about other conversations that he that he has had um with car dealers all across the country um and 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 the the thing that that he keeps hearing is that they're they're saying they're talking about the squeeze they're talking about the difficulty and they're saying you know, I'm thinking about stepping away from a while, for a while, you know, tamping things down a little bit, maybe even, you know, kind of putting my license on hold. Like my friend said, <laughs> he's been, he's been in our business, in the car business for over 40 years. And if, if somebody tells him that, what he really when they say I'm, I'm thinking about pulling away from the business for a while, he really thinks they're really thinking about this closing because, in his mind, you know, you're either in, you're out, and 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 he doesn't see he doesn't see that. So, in his mind, there's a lot of buy here, pay here dealers out there who are talking about stepping away, stepping away, closing down their doors, and. That's that's a uh, well as part of my is my part of my duties. Um, I you know a lot of you know I, I work part time as marketing consultant for the Alabama Independent Auto Dealers Association, the AIADA, and I've you know told you guys I, I recommend that you get involved. Um, if you're a dealer, you should join your local association. It's great value to you um, in a lot of different ways. But one of my one of my duties with them is is to have more of these conversations i'll be on the phone with with dealers all over the state of alabama um and we're going to be talking about this issue you know this, this exact issue and and the, the issue should i stay in business you know uh, should i what can i do what can i do um and other concerns like electric cars uh you know the elimination of of the uh combustion engine that that apparently the the government is is trying to force on us a, a, a sooner than than we might think um toyota is actually developing a, a hydrogen engine my friend told me about and and that that's an interesting uh, a turn you know what what other ways this is the real question that i'll be asking what ways can we help what can, what ways can we create a competitive advantage as an association because uh, alabama is one of the strongest independent dealer associations in in the country a lot of active members and we're trying to grow that and get more active members because the you know the strength in numbers and with that strength how can we help them cut their costs attract better better uh purchase prices um create better financing these are all things that the association uh is is constantly looking out for them so that's that's the kind of questions that that and and uh, discussions I, I look forward to having in the next month or so with with dealers all across the country. If you're in Alabama, um, you may hear from me. It, it'll be me on the phone. We'll just we'll just talk, uh, and and I, I look forward to those conversations. Now I want to invite the listeners of the Flipping Genius podcast and and the viewers of the Flipping Genius uh, YouTube channel. Uh, and and members of the car flipping forum, our our, our car flipping forum, uh, to concentrate on especially this this last subject, that competitive advantage. That's that's 
I, I, I want us to look at that. I want us to, uh, you know, talk about uh, about. Yeah, we're we're seeing this squeeze too. Um, but what can this mean? What what can this mean for us? It could mean you know decreased costs of vehicles because if there's less dealers to compete with, it's going to drive down the cost of vehicles and possibly increased number of of uh, repossessed vehicles and 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 fewer dealers to compete with those fewer uh, you know more opportunities there there really can be opportunities here I, I I didn't bring all this up to scare you I brought this up to make you aware and I was delighted I'm delighted I didn't really say that word but I was I was happy to have this conversation with my friend today because it opened my eyes that that I've got to keep my head on a swivel like I always say because opportunity is knocking it always is when things go well things go well when things go bad somebody will do well whether let, let it be us uh, there are going to be a lot of opportunities as as uh as m more buyers are also going to be pushed out of this market because these these cars are increasing in in, in price that means and interest rates are up it's meaning an increased cost Per, per bi-weekly payment or monthly payment, however they do it. Um, they're, they're wanting to collect higher down payments. They're having trouble doing that, of course. And they're extending the, uh, the payment periods out uh, to cover a more expensive car. And it's driving some of these buyers to lesser deals, lesser cars, lesser markets like yours truly uh, and other flippers like me concentrate on and and it's going to create other opportunities um so let's let's keep our eyes open and, and let's share uh, please send me your ideas send me your stories send me your questions uh your suggestions you can email me at flipping questions at gmail.com flipping questions at gmail.com and uh and also let's share on the car flipping forum um it's let's discuss ways for uh, for us to become the beneficiaries of these upcoming struggles, for us to be the beneficiaries of this squeeze, and and if you aren't yet a member of the Car Flipping Forum, it is free, F R E E, free to join. Just search Flipping Genius under uh, Facebook groups. Just type in Flipping Genius. You'll see all of our groups. The first one that comes up will the one be the one that's coded blue. And that is the Car Flipping Forum. It's free to join. Just answer a couple questions so I know you're not trying to scam us. Uh, we've, got, we've got members all across the United States, all across the world. And I encourage you to please share with each other. Let's work together. Um, or or if, if you don't want to search that way, you can just click on the link uh, it, wherever you're watching this show or, or listening to this show. You can click on the show notes. And there'll be a link there or or visit our website, flippinggenius.com, F-L-I-P-P-I-N-G-E-N-I-U-S.com. Only one G in there, flippinggenius.com. And and you can click the links there. And and while you're on our website, um, you can see all of our all of our past episodes, all of our videos and stuff too. But while you're on our website, consider becoming a flipping team member, a flipping partner, a flipping champion. So we can take an even more active role in helping you and your success. I mean, the number one goal of Flipping Genius is to help you make more money. So let's keep, keep looking for ways to do exactly that. Let's work together. Let's make some money. Let's all become Flipping Geniuses. Mm -hmm.